look, I can fit one more. This is so perfect, okay. And we've got our second crust. So again, I'm using that Pillsbury pie crust. We have the ovens preheated uh, per the directions on the box to 450 degrees. Yeah, awesome. All right, perfect. So a little less traditional, I've got these cute little silicone molds. You can use them, they just tend not to stick, but again, this is pie crust, so I just wanna be extra, extra sure because we were doing this kind of backwards, all right? So we are gonna put these upside down and we are gonna mold them over top, okay? And we kind of have to squeeze them a little bit to get them on there, okay? Just like so. One little cute little crust at a time. Can't wait to show you what we're gonna do. Okay, these look just about ready to go. I'm gonna pop them in the oven. Here we go. Uh, so this is 10 to 12 minutes or until light brown. So we'll just keep our eye on them just cause they're extra super mini and they're on the top. So it might take even less time, All right? We are pouring two cups of really cold milk. I'm using 2%. Uh, you can use a skim milk if you want or even a whole milk or even a heavy cream if you so choose, right? We're gonna take that real cold milk and then a whole box of this vanilla. This is gonna be an instant pudding, okay? This is the five ounce box. You could make less if you want, but I love pudding and having leftovers is just fine for me. Okay, we're just gonna dump that in there. And if you wanna make your own pudding, like from scratch on the stove top with some vanilla and eggs, you can work it that way too. I like convenience. This is super easy and quick, and we can work on this while those pie crusts are cooling, okay? Next, we're just gonna plop in one brick of cream cheese. Oop, <laughs> there it goes. All right, so this is just a regular old, oops, excuse me. This is just a regular old cream cheese, okay? You could use a light if you wanted to, but they just happened to be on sale this week, those two packs, so I just went ahead and got them. All right, we're gonna stick our little mixer in there. We're just gonna go ahead and take one lemon, and we're gonna zest just a hair in there, okay? A hair of lemon. And that is going to be delicious. And we have seal that in there. Look at that. Okay, we wanna get that right on in, okay? And then we'll go right back to that mix. <laughs> that Ooh, looks so delicious. This is perfect. It's creamy. It has a little bit of a lemon, a little bit of a tangy scent to it. I just want to taste it. But before I do that, we've got to bring those cute little pie crusts back, All right? Ooh. Check these out. Now, they have been cooling, but I wanted to just show you this. I put one of these on the plate so you could see. Check out how easy that comes off. Look at how cute, right? Just perfect little pie cups. And the little flowers, oh man, they're just perfect. They're exactly what I was looking for. So I've just piped some of that right into a reusable piping bag. That's what you're calling piping bags? This is a piping bag, yeah. So look at this cute little pudding mixture, okay? Just makes it a little bit easier to work with. You have a little bit more control than if you were to use a spoon. Oh, look how cute. So it would even be cute with a like little star cutouts. What do you think? Stars, flowers. And just keep on going around. I think the flowers work really well. Aren't they so cute? I have probably um, about half of the pudding that we had made, that, that mixture. So you could use one of the smaller boxes or you could just double down and use uh, two more pie crusts and you would have enough to fill them. Okay, let me just. And I'm gonna use the leftover filling to make cheese danishes. <gasps> oh, that sounds really good. 
and they have that like lemony flavor. I'm just gonna put. Like, I'm like, only half joking, just just to be clear. Mm. I want a cheese danish. What do you think? Should we have some cheese danishes? All right. Here we go. And then we can't just leave them like this. They're too cute. We've spent too much time on them. So we're just gonna pop a raspberry in each one of these just to bring a little bit of life and another little dynamic, right? So raspberries aren't enough, right? This would be really cute uh, for like the 4th of July or uh, maybe even um, a little red, white, and blue theme going yeah, on there. Yeah, look at this. Those three. are some big blueberries. These babe. are gigantic blueberries. So here they are looking absolutely fabulous and i just really want to give one a try so i'm gonna go right here and just take a bite <laughs> how do you like it babe this is so good the pie crust is so flaky and again that pudding look at that it's like a very sturdy texture again you could make it thicker if you choose this is this is perfect it's so good i take another bite mm -hmm.